everyone. Welcome to yoga, specifically today, mythical creatures yoga. One of my favorites. Um, so we are going to get into some fun poses that um, inspired me to think of more of mythical creatures. So what are examples of mythical creatures? There are so many. Unicorns, mermaids, dragons, basilisks, really there's there's so much. Um, so we're only going to do a few out of hundreds and hundreds of creatures. So I highly recommend um, you check out your local library to learn more about any mythical creature you would ever want to imagine. Um, but for now, as we go through our poses today and our flow, um, I will tell you what I know, or some of the things that I know about these mythical creatures. And you might even know more than I do, so yeah, pretty cool. There's so much to learn. <laughs> so, before we get into our flow, let's warm up a little bit. It's such a beautiful day. Let's bring our arms around side to side. Maybe get your chest involved. Just turn from one side to the other the wind around us, just whipping us around. <laughs> when you're ready, you can slow your arms down. So you're facing forward again. Nice. Let's take our arms now nice and wide. So reach with your fingers. Your shoulders are still one nice line. Relax down your back. Breathe into your chest. And as you breathe out, Wrap your arms around you like a big hug. Give yourself a big hug. Next time you breathe in, reach your arms out wide again. And as you breathe out, now cross your arms over again off to the side. Give yourself another hug. One more time, reach out wide, stretch, stretch, stretch. And as you breathe out, Lower your arms down. The yoga mat's getting involved with the wind. <laughs> All right, let's warm our legs up a little bit. So come to a wide-legged forward fold. So you can turn on one side of your mat. Maybe you can reach your arms out just like we did out by our sides and line your feet up, the edge of your feet, with the wrists. So your wrist, edge of my feet, right down below me. So feel nice and solid in your feet. As you breathe in, reach up with your arms. And as you breathe out, just start to fold over your legs. You can let your arms dangle down low if they don't reach the ground. Or you can just place your palms on your mat. Let your head dangle. Maybe you can crawl your arms over to your right leg. Feel stretch in your, the back of your leg. Crawl your fingers over to your left leg. Take a couple of breaths. And then you can crawl your fingers back to the middle. Then when you're ready, put your hands on your hips and bring yourself back up. That feels good. One more stretch. This is gonna be a little bit of a balance. So feel nice and strong in your left leg. Take your right hand out like you're holding a tray and then lift your right leg behind you and catch your foot with your right hand. And you can find a spot on the ground to look at to help you with balance. So push your foot into your hand as you try to bring your knee pointing down directly at the ground. And if the, you're feeling something in your knee that you're like, oh, ow, that hurts, that's okay. Just come out of it a little bit. Bring your knee a little bit more in front of you. Let your right shoulder get nice and relaxed, nice and loose. And when you're ready, slowly lower your right foot down. Maybe rock from side to side. And we'll come to the other side. 
So feel nice and strong and stable in your right leg. Bring your left hand out to the side, lift your left leg, and catch your foot with your left hand. So keep pushing your foot into your hand. That helps to relax your left shoulder, get it nice and relaxed. Breathe into your quad, the front of your leg right here. And when you're ready, you can let go of your foot and just let it come back down into your mat. Swing from side to side. That feels good. Okay, what do you think? Are you ready? I sure am. So our first pose is resting Pegasus. So Pegasus is from Greek mythology. And Pegasus is a horse with wings. So we're gonna come down our child's pose. You can have your feet together, your legs together, or you can have your big toes together and your knees wide apart. Whatever feels good for you. I'm gonna keep my legs together today. So once you feel you're in your position for rest in Pegasus, start to fold your chest down over the top of your legs. Keep pushing your hips into your heels. And then you can lower your forehead down or you can rest side to side, whatever feels good. Your arms can either be resting on either side of your legs. If you wanna do wings like Pegasus, they can be out to the side or you can also bring them out in front of you. Take a couple of deep breaths here. When you're ready, crawl your fingers out in front of you. Put your palms flat on your mat. Push yourself up to tabletop just tabletop. <laughs> All right, so for this next one, we want to make sure that we're really stable. So your shoulders are right above your wrists. Press into your hands so your hands feel really solid and grounded into your mat. Your knees are right underneath your hips. Our next one is griffin. So griffins, they're cool. The half of them, the bottom half of them, is the body of a lion. So from like belly to back leg is a lion. The front half is an eagle. So the front two legs are talons, like what an eagle has, and an eagle head, which is really cool. So for our griffin, we'll reach our right foot back behind us, and you can put your toes on the mat. So it's like you're pushing your toes into the mat, your heels flexed. This might feel really good for the back of your leg, actually. You can stay here or strengthen your tummy muscles. And maybe lift your leg up off the ground, but not too high. So it's a nice long line on your right side. You can stay here. Maybe if you'd like, you can crawl your left fingers out in front of you a little bit. I'll bet you know where this is going. Keep your gaze down directly beneath you. If you feel like you're up for a little challenge, maybe lift your left hand. Couple of deep breaths, maybe you're a little wibble wobbly, that's okay. Keep pressing into your right hand. And when you're ready, lower your left hand down underneath your shoulder and lower your right leg. Nice. All right, let's come up to stand. So however you wanna come up to stand, I'm gonna bring my feet a little bit more in front of me, press them on the ground, roll on up. So our next one is the Minotaur. He was another, um, he was from Crete, which is an island off of Greece. He was um, the body of a man and the head of a bull. 
So we are going to stand hip widths apart. Feel your feet pressed into the mat. Nice and strong, he's really strong. And then reach your arms above you for your bullhorns. Let your shoulders relax. And keep reaching up through your fingers. Soften your ribs in. Nice. Breathe nice and deeply into your belly, your chest. Okay. Minotaur now to Cerberus, our three headed dog. For Cerberus, we're going to keep our feet exactly as we are. We'll put our hands on our, our hips for now so we feel nice and stable. Start to bend your knees and send your hips back behind you. Almost like you're going to sit down into a chair. So feel more of your weight in your heels, the backs of your feet. Start to strengthen your tummy muscles. If you'd like, you can keep your hands like this. You can have them reach out in front of you, or if you want to come into full Cerberus with our three heads, you can reach your arms out by the sides a little bit. And maybe, because Cerberus was a dog, bark or growl. He was the dog of the underworld, so not the nicest, not always. You can look down a little bit in front of you. Feel nice and strong in your legs. And when you're ready, put your hands on your hips, straighten your legs, maybe shake them out a little bit. Yeah. Okay, our next pose, one of my favorites, the phoenix. So the phoenix is a bird, a really fiery bird. And when they die, they're reborn from ashes. So usually they'll, they'll burn and come up in flames. And if you've seen Harry Potter or um, you've read the books, Fox is a phoenix. And you, again, in the movies, you may have seen him burst into flames and come to um, be born again from that ash. So, phoenix. Let's start just like we were with Cerberus. Bend our knees a little bit. We'll lift our right leg first. So lift your right leg and cross your right leg over your left leg. And you can stay here. Press your inner thighs together. That'll help you keep some balance. You can keep your gaze down at the ground because I'm feeling wobbly in the wind today. <laughs> you can keep your leg like this. You can bring your right toes down on the other side of your left leg, or you can try, this is fun, you can try to wrap your right leg around your left leg. So keep squeezing your legs together, get nice and strong in your tummy, reach your arms out to the side like wings, and you can stay here, or you can try to wrap your arms together. So take your left hand over your right hand, just like with our legs. Wrap your arms together, point your fingers up at the sky. Maybe try pressing your right fingers into your left palm. So it's like you're squeezing everything together into the middle of you, your midline. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Focus on something. Oh, and if you follow, that's okay. All right, ready? Let's unravel our wings, spread out nice and wide. Bring your foot down on the ground. Oh, shake that out a little bit. Yeah, nice and fiery. <laughs> All right, Phoenix. Now it's time for a unicorn. One of my favorites. So just like we are with our Minotaur, feet nice and flat in the ground. Let's start with our right leg. Feel your right leg nice and strong. Nice and strong in the ground. Take your left hand out on your left side. Again, like you're holding a tray. And just like we did with stretching our foot, lift your left foot behind you and catch your um, foot with your hand. I like to hold on to the inside of my foot, so the side where my big toe is. You can stay here. Maybe point your horn up towards the sky. If 
you like. You can start to now lean, extend your horn out forward as you kick your foot back behind you into your hand. So you're pushing into your hand as you lift up with your foot. Relax your shoulder, gaze at something. And again, if you fall out, that's okay. Reach back behind you, lift up. And then when you're ready, bring your knees back together. Ah, lift your horn up. And gracefully let your left foot drop down. <laughs> gracefully, that's always fun. <laughs> shake, 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 shake. And let's come into our centaur. So our centaur, we'll start with our left foot behind us. So maybe bring your right foot a little bit forward. Bring your left foot back behind you and you can lower your knee down. And if this hurts your knee, you can put a blanket under your knee that might help to cushion it a little bit. So our centaur, you can keep your left toes curled or you can put your foot flat on the ground as my knee cracks, that's always fun. <laughs> our centaur, so the body, the front body, the chest, the shoulders, the head is a human and the back is a horse. So you can bring your hands down on either side of your right foot. Let your hips drop down to the ground and just lift your head up. Keep relaxing your shoulders. Let your hips relax. Nice and strong. Right, you can lower your head. You can flatten your palms down on the mat. I'm gonna bring my right hand on the inside of my right leg. And then I'm gonna swing my right leg back behind me. So we're back in tabletop. Now, let's push back. So we're sitting on our butt and then swing our right hip down on the mat. Bring your knees together, your legs together. What do you think we're now? What are we now? We're mermaids. So you can bring both of your hands on your tail or you can bring your right hand on your right side, whatever feels good for you. Enjoy the sun, the ocean, or the river. You could be a river mermaid too. Maybe flick your tail, comb your hair, do whatever it is mermaid does. Right. And our last one on this side, the Sphinx. So a Sphinx is, I believe a Sphinx is also a Greek mythology creature. Usually it's a woman. So the head of a woman, she usually has, I believe, raven wings, and she has the body of a cat or a lion. Pretty cool. It's depending on the story though, that could change. Like there's a bug crawling around me. I don't want him to get squished. <laughs> All right, we're sitting on our butt. Now we can bring our hands in front of us and lower yourself all the way down into your belly, however you wanna get there. The tops of your feet are flat on your mat. Your elbows are underneath your shoulders. So if this hurts hurting your back a little bit, you can also take that blanket and place it underneath your rib cage to kind of give you some support, even on like your upper chest too. Push into your palms, your elbows, your forearms, as you lift up through the top of your head. So the front of our hips are sinking down into the ground. And again, if you're feeling in this in your lower back, definitely put a blanket under your rib cage. That'll help you. Reach up through the top of your head. Let your shoulders relax. And when you're ready, you can lower yourself all the way down and we'll come back to our resting Pegasus. So maybe push your hands into your mat, bring your feet together, push up and come to sit on your heels. 
And your arms can be stretched out in front of you. They can be resting out on either side or by the sides of your legs. You let your forehead rest. If this hurts your neck too, you could also use your arms or your wings to cushion the top of your head or your forehead. One more deep breath. Crawl your fingers in front of you so your palms are flat on your mat and bring yourself back up to tabletop. Time for Griffin. <laughs> All right, so we brought our right foot back behind us. Now we're gonna bring our left foot back behind us. So you can start with your toes pushing into your mat maybe pushing your heel back. So it's like you're pushing it into a wall behind you. You can keep your knee bent a little bit too if, if, not, if it bothers your knee. You can stay here, push into the four corners of both of your hands. Then you can try to lift your right foot. So again, don't wanna lift your hip or keep it low. You want your hips to be nice nice and aligned, nice and even. You can stay here or you can crawl now your right fingers out in front of you. Maybe lift them. So you have a nice long line all the way from your right fingers to the back of your left foot. Feel the back of your neck get nice and long as you look down at the ground. Your shoulders are relaxed. And when you're ready, you can bring your right hand down underneath your shoulder and lower your left knee down. Good job. Shake it out. <laughs> and however you'd like to, you can come to stand. Ooh. Minotaur. So our feet are hip distance apart. Nice and strong and stable. If you like, you can reach your arms up towards the sky for those horns. Look straight in front of you. Reach through the top of your head. Let your shoulders relax. All right, for Cerberus, let's start by putting our hands on our hips for now. Start to bend your knees and bring your hips back behind you. So to protect your knees too, you wanna to make sure that your knees are staying behind your toes. If you're noticing your knees go forward ahead of your toes, just try to bring them back a little bit, but sit deeper, sit deeper in your hips. Imagine too, this helps me, imagine that you have a beach ball in between your legs and you're squeezing that beach ball together. So you want the, your inside legs your thighs get really strong. You can keep your hands here, reaching through the top of your head. You can bring them out in front of you, or for our Cerberus, our three-headed dog, you can widen them, bring them up closer to your head. And they can talk to each other. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> nice and strong. Feel the sides of your waist get nice and long. And when you're ready, put your hands on your hips, straighten your legs. Woohoo! <laughs> These are fun, aren't they? And again, we're learning some things. Okay, it's time for Phoenix. So now let's start, well not let's start, it's time for our right leg to get nice and strong. So feel your right leg nice and strong. Bend your knees again, and you're gonna sit in your Cerberus. Lift your left leg. What are we gonna do next? If you have your balance, we'll see if I do. <laughs> Cross your left leg over your right leg. And you can stay here. 
just squeezing your legs together, sitting further back in your hips. Tricky, tricky. You can bring your left toes down or you can wrap your left leg around your right leg. Keep looking at a spot, maybe a little bit in front of you. Keep squeezing your legs together. You can keep your arms on, or your hands on your hips. You can reach your hands out wide. Or if you'd like to wrap now this time, your right arm over your left arm and bring your left fingers into your right palm. So your shoulders are nice and relaxed as you reach up with your fingers. Keep squeezing everything together. Breathe into the backs of your shoulders, backs of your legs. And then let's unravel. Spread your wings out wide, get nice and wide. Coming out of the flames. And let your foot drop down. Cool. Okay. Fun, balancing is so fun, isn't it? Especially with the wind. I don't know if you can hear it, the wind is crazy. Okay, our unicorn, here we go. So we were strong on our right leg. Now we're gonna be strong on our left leg. Get nice and strong. Feel the four corners of your left foot nice and anchored into your mat. When you're ready, you can bring your right arm now out to the side of you. Hold that tray. Lift your right foot and catch your foot with your right hand. And again, I like to hold the big toe side of my right foot. That helps to relax my shoulder. Bring your horn up, reach towards the sky. Stay here. Or now start to reach your horn out in front of you as you push your right foot into your right hand. Push into your right hand to lift it up. Feel your shoulder relax. And again, if you fall out, that's okay. Feel the four corners of your left foot into your mat. Reach out with your horn. And when you're ready, bring your horn back up to the sky. Bring your knees together nice and gracefully let your right foot drop down. Cool. Sway from side to side. That was a lot of work. Good job. Okay. Our next one. Centaur on the other side. So bring your left foot in front of you just a little bit. Bring your right foot now back behind you and you can lower your right knee down. So again, if you want that blanket for your right knee, that's a-okay. You can keep your toes curled under, or you can put your right foot on the top of it on your mat. Whatever works for you. Start to bring more weight into your left foot. So let your hips drop down. Try to keep your knee above your ankle. So if you're noticing that your knee is kind of going over your ankle. You can lift, put, push your toes, your right toes into your mat, and just bring your knee back a little bit more so you have a nice wider stance. Just notice what you feel, especially in your hips. Look up if that feels good, reach up through the top of your head but not too far back. You want your neck to be nice and long. One more big breath in. One more big breath out. Okay. I'm gonna bring my left hand on the inside of my left foot, place both of my palms flat on the ground and start to lean back with my hips so I can swing oh, my left leg back. Keep 
rolling on back to the back of your mat. You can sit on your heels for a second and then come to sit on your left hip now. So bring your knees together, your legs together, your feet together. Your arms can be resting on your tail or you can have your left hand on your left side. Just maybe leaning into your left hand but keeping your shoulders relaxed, your collarbone nice and open. You can flick your tail. If you could be any mythical creature, what would you be? I would totally be a mermaid. which one you would want to be. There's just so many. Okay, our last pose, a sphinx. It'd be cool to be a sphinx too. You can, however you'd like to, get on your tummy. So we're going to lay flat down on our tummy. Let the tops of your feet relax on your mat. Bring your elbows underneath your shoulders. And for this too, to kind of tell, I'll back up a little bit so you can see. To tell where exactly your hands should be, if you take one hand and lift it up and place your palm, so your forearm and your palm is now perpendicular to your left hand or whatever hand is flat on the ground, you want your palm to be touching that hand so if your arm that's down on the ground facing the front of your mat, if it's too far away from that palm, bring it in a little bit until it touches. Bring both of your forearms, your elbows, your palms flat on your mat. Push into all of those as you lift up through the top of your head. When you're ready, you can lower back down onto your belly and you can stay on your belly if you'd like for it to rest a little bit or you can come onto your back. If you're resting on your belly, maybe you'd like to stack your palms together so your forehead can rest on the ground or you can rest one of your cheeks so your head is facing one side. And just take a couple of breaths here, letting everything go that we've done back to your breathing. Start to deepen your breath. Maybe wiggle your fingers and your toes. And when you're ready, take your time to come to a comfortable seat on your mat. And that comfortable seat can look however you'd like it to look. You can place your palms together in the center of your chest and thank yourself for taking the time to practice some yoga today. Thank yourself for maybe learning something new, maybe learning about a new mythical creature. And thank you for joining me today.